reported on countless unemployment issues that people in Illinois have faced throughout this pandemic. But two area lawmakers say employees at one major company are facing quite unique challenges. 13 News reporter Mary Sugden explains the calls these representatives are fielding and what they're trying to do to help. Representative Joe Sosnowski says his office is flooded with a specific call nearly every day. There may be 10, 20 phone calls a day that have been coming in and they're just looking for help. Those people, workers at the Belvedere assembly plant, temporary shutdowns and layoffs, forcing workers to turn to the Illinois Department of Employment Security. But lawmakers say these workers aren't getting answers. Folks are turning to you know anybody they can because they're frustrated. It's an interesting problem for IDS to figure out. And it's, but it's easy if you sit down with somebody in person. But if you can't sit down with somebody in person, if it's all over the phone, it's very hard to explain the ins and outs of that system. COVID-19 forced the closures of local IDES offices. That, mixed with the massive influx of unemployment inquiries, has created difficulties for these Chrysler employees who typically didn't encounter issues on previous cyclical work stoppages. Usually it's a seamless process. They apply, you know, it's all done and taken and care of in, in you know, maybe a day. Sosnowski and Vela say they're doing what they can to help every worker that calls, but they've taken action in Springfield with a resolution pushing the state to open local IDES offices. And these people need food on the table. They need, you know, they get, get clothes for the kids. They, they need, they, they put the time in, they put the work in, they deserve to help, little help, that's mm -hmm. all I would say. So instead of worrying if their benefits have fallen through the cracks, people can know help is on the way. For your 13 Weather Authority, Mary Sugden, 13 News. We reached out to IDES. We have yet to hear back. Representative Sisnowski says the proposed legislation to reopen local offices for IDES receives bipartisan support down in Springfield.